So real quickly, I'm, I'm running around today, so I don't have time to do a, a, a great video. But just real quickly, there was um, uh, several sites were um, several oil and gas production sites last night were um, overrun by the Maria fire that broke out about 6:15 last night on Halloween Eve, and um, and because of the because of the the, the conditions and and uh, everything, the incident command decided to not attack these oil, this oil infrastructure uh, until the sun. Uh, came up this morning, so they just begun um, going in and assessing what's going on. Um, so several sites were burned. We don't have a current, uh, we don't have a most recent fire perimeter map. This is a bit old, but you can see here. Um, so this whole region, there's oil and gas all throughout this region um, of Ventura County, and this round mountain, or uh, this round mountain, the south mountain here is the main area where the fire started, and it migrated. It's been migrating this way towards the town of Camarillo. Uh, and Somis and, and Satakoy. Um, if we look in this area and we zoom in, um, what you can see is so this is this is the current uh, oil and gas uh, uh, exploration uh, data from Dogger, um, our, our state agency in California that keeps track of this stuff. So these uh, um, these gray target locations are where a well bore went in, but it was dry and we didn't have, uh, there was no oil in production. Um, these guys here represent an oil, uh, a successful oil drill, but it is um, uh, idle, we're not actually pumping. So the, the green here represent um, the only actively pumping wellheads. Now this doesn't mean the oil is right here, this oil could be in this huge basin. We can do slant drilling and other things, but the point is the vast, so a lot of oil and gas production facilities were um, pot are potentially being impacted by this Maria fire but a relatively small proportion of them were, were in active um, production. And I should note that these, this data is from uh, 2018 and, and we're in 2019 right now. So, so these numbers might have changed. But what you see is the vast majority of potential well sites, oil seep sites, et cetera, are, um, are, are not uh, of significant concern. Um, but in this area, particularly around the 126, is the greatest concentration of sites we, we um, have some concern about in terms of uh, if they were safely shut in and, and things of that nature. So um, while not a, a massive concern at the moment, we, we are um, always concerned when we have an oil and gas production region that has wildfire. Um, we have uh, one, um, that we've confirmed that, that at least one oil seep ignited during the Thomas fire is still burning, that was two years ago. So these things can uh, persist for some time, although most of these sites are much more accessible than the sites we had in the Thomas fire. So were any of these to catch fire, it, it should be a relatively uh, easy process to get in and, and put out any, um, any fires. But, but these guys, if a wellhead does catch on fire or a seep does catch on fire, the air quality is, is quite poor and, and is um, a significant threat. So um, hopefully the firefighters will get on that and we'll have an update in a few hours as to where our oil and gas resources uh, lie in the wake of this most recent uh, Maria fire, which is uh, about 8,700 acres as of uh, 8 o'clock this morning on November 1st.